octopus. He's a, a man child. Yeah, he's a content creator, and he also runs a YouTube channel called Orange Octopus with almost a hundred subscribers. And today we are going to take a deep dive into Josh Namo and everything about him. We're going to be reviewing Namo and Namo Five, right? Yes. And you're joined by my good friend Jamar101, and we're um. Should we talk about um our failed interview? Yes, we reached out to Mr. Orange Octopus, and he did not accept our invitation to be a part of this discussion. As, um, Which is kind of cringe. His explanation was, eh, E-H, period. So, as you can see, he's a very busy man, and is his way of saying, I'm not that interested right now, but maybe at a later day. He's a very complex person. You gotta read into everything he says, just like his demo series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Maybe I'll put, I'll splash some um, clips of um, Namo and everything Josh on the screen, yeah. just to give you a little bit of a consensus of what we're actually dealing with here. Did you become an, an om omnipotent god before or after you consumed your first universe? Nasty Cat finds you per epic heart heart per feel happened and it's kind of weird because I've never owned a PlayStation but I'm talking about the PlayStation 5. Wilted Towers, <laughs> allow me to introduce myself. Um, it's pretty crazy. Yes. Um, he, he's absolutely refined in the art of animation, isn't that right? Oh my god, Disney, Pixar, they gotta step down and let Josh take over because they don't even begin to compare it to his brain. And not to mention the consistency. He's been uploading for a consistent five years and he's accumulated Every just now. Almost, like, all the time. Boom, 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 video content. Good content. Yeah, like, Funny. let me show you. Quality. Yeah, well, I'm gonna play one of the videos from his early days of um, YouTube. I, it's very impressive. So, a few weeks ago, I had to take a blood test and the other sick of Well, I would like to just the very deep, deeper meaning of Nemo, and how Nemo is really just a front to About LeBron James. Josh's, yes, Josh's perspective on LeBron James journey through the world. Yeah. Now, I know when I asked him this, he refused to comment, but that's because I was getting too close to the truth. Nemo is really featured. Nemo is LeBron James and Sonic. Yes. And making their way through the war. Like is this harsh political climate. Namo or LeBron James were able to climb the ranks to be the best NBA All Star slash alien fighting warrior of all time. It's it's mind boggling. I can't even Yeah, and as as Namo I mean Josh once said um, um, Namo was created as a originally failed Shadow the Hedgehog drawing, so that just... Ah uh, yes, I remember it was just like his mallet of Sonic drawings, one failed copy throughout this entire world. Yeah, and now he has over a thousand subs, and now that he's actually gotten monetization, which I'm assuming he's monetized his videos, I'm not actually sure if he's done that or not, that's kind of scary, don't you think? Yes, he... With that power. I, I would have... The power YouTube has over him, he needs music for these videos, but luckily he's able to compose some of his own music that rivals Mozart's creation. Yeah. Top sellers are in the latest finale of Namo. He wrote and sung and played his whole final song, which, might I say, is a little better than in the Hall of the Mountain King. Yes! Very oh my, finally, classic. someone agrees with me. Music. Yes, I don't know. I don't most of like this like ratio on that video. I'm assuming it's like 100 percent like zero dislikes. Yeah, I mean he's literally a Josh. The whole thing with Josh is that if you um try to throw any criticism at him, he will smite you. I mean like not actually, but we just pretend he does. It has like what 10, 11 million likes on the video so far. Yeah. The thing is he's um he's done two Q and A's in our time that we've known Josh, and yet last time we. Um, asked him a bunch of um, very intriguing questions, and yet he refused to answer a lot of them, which is kind of sus. When he actually took our questions, the answers were vague and unconvincing. Such as when I asked him uh, the question about him and the Brian James connection, he responded with a look of 
pure confusion that made some sort of deep guttural noise and then moved on to the next question and I have still been reading into that. I do not know how to interpret it, quite frankly. Another thing is if you look in those Q&A videos, you can see that he actually has a blue Yeti mic, which if you don't know, is a very expensive mic and you can see all his sonic figurines and stuff. It's kind of funny. Yes, it's, it's amazing. I, you can see that Namo has made him filthy, filthy rich to afford Yeti mics. Yeah, he's flexing on all his viewers. The thing is, there's a lot of um, actual controversy besides the um, regarding the animation software that Josh has used because yes. we've confronted him many times about what um, services that he used to create these Nano epics. Yeah, he just kind of um, avoids it, right? He always exclaims that it's a strange program that most people wouldn't know, but we're here to learn, and he will not teach us. Our teacher is failing to teach us how to create our own epics, such as Namu, with heroes against the forces of evil and the epic battle mass proportions. But yet he, just, he will not help us. Like he's holding the key to the door of great, dangling in front of us like a baby behind some car keys. It's, it's insulting, but he is our teacher and there's probably a deeper meaning to his actions. Yeah, and the fact that he just disregards all live action movies besides the Meg, he literally watches all animation movies. There's nothing that he watches that isn't animation besides the We're movie sorry. that we've known he's watched, the Meg. Ammo 5, best ammo episode. This is very controversial, this is my opinion. I'm yeah, no, I agree with you. Ammo, episode 4, was alright, wasn't the best, but it was pretty good. And I didn't have as high hopes. I thought he was shooting for the next universe, like a few universes over. I thought he'd only reach the next universe, but he just went to the final dimension. I don't know how he managed. And that theme song yes. was the, um, Chris. The, 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 the piano, perfect. Oh my god, top, top 10, top 1. Well, Nemo season 1, episode 0 through 5, that's an hour long, so he's even, he, he's even, wow. wow. An hour of content. An hour of content. This is from this small creator. He managed to for just passion for his fans. It's one of the internet's best web series. I think before the fifth episode, my favorite was like the pilot. Because I feel like the pilot was like the most like thought together. I don't, I don't know. There's something about the pilot that I just feel is like special the first one. And there's also like some problem with the technicality. Like he was kind of like had a lot of pauses in between speaking. But he learned. Yeah, he fixed that in the fifth episode and it's so much smoother. Me personally, my favorite episode besides episode five had to be episode three because I felt like it took a change, a change of course from the rest of them when they went to that town to deal with the devil to uh, fight the devil guy who was given the uh, what's his face, all the wishes, and I just thought it was a nice change of pace and a very interesting episode. Yep. Yeah. No, but like the the, the the fifth one absolutely is blown away. Like it has everything. It has a ten minute fight scene. It's like smooth, like the animations are like actually moving and it's not just like a slideshow presentation. And there's like really music exactly. and voices and like everything that the series has culminated it culminates to this point and it's just absolutely phenomenal and then caps it off with an amazing ukulele solo. Is that right? Yes, that, that was what I wanted to talk about. That is one of the highlights of this show. Him just absolutely like showing his domination on the musical field. And he released that to like SoundCloud, Apple, um, Spotify, music, Apple Music. He would have topped the charts instantaneously, not a doubt. No, but like he's actually good at the ukulele. Oh, yeah, ukulele. And you might not believe this, but he has the voice of an angel with three toes. The adventure is done and we can say that we can watch the sunset at the end of the day. It is crazy. I don't know how he does it. He just sings and people fly. So can I, can I read some of the questions that we were planning to interview Josh with? Yes. Yeah, this is what we were planning to interview Josh with, but unfortunately, he couldn't make it to the meeting because of his own, I don't know, personal conflictions. But some of the questions that we probably would have asked him is, why do you have such a deep obsession with Sonic? 
which enamel is your favorite and why? Does drawing make the voices go away? How many times do you check under your fingernails for monsters? How has LeBron James influenced your enamel creations? Why is LeBron James? Have you accepted Fortnite's recent offer to put Namo as a skin? So, Josh, for some reason, for some peculiar reason, do you want to answer those questions? No, he, had every, he had every reason to accept. We we're going to give him free press. Free public, yes. Can we talk about uh, Let's Look At? Yes. For a moment here? It's his, um... The over PlayStation there. 5 one. Yeah, but, so basically, Let's Look At is his commentary series where he just reviews games, shows, I mean, anything he wants to talk about. So, another thing that I think is kind of funny is, like, Josh, he kind of pretends... I'm, I'm being a little bit exaggerating, but he kind of pretends that Let's Look At is, like, this kind of original and creative idea, when in fact it is just a commentary video. Yes, uh, I know many content creators that do it. Of course, Josh is... Uh, let's look at our all S tier, maybe yeah. S tier, but it is a very generic. Especially the PS5 one, right? Yes, I felt like, I mean, he's great at shooting from the hip, but a script always helps. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm sorry, Josh, I'm just saying, next time, you know, maybe you could write a script. I felt like that review was a bit... <laughs> Since he doesn't have a PS5 and he's played on Switch his whole life, he's never used a... PlayStation device, and so he didn't have that much interest because he didn't plan on playing any of these games ever. So I felt like his opinion on it wasn't as strong as, say, Cheesy Dude or Dr. Hanks, who are decent PlayStation yes. expertise people. Um, before we wrap this up, can we talk about um the Josh Simp allegations? Oh, yes. The, that's a scandal right there. That's an absolute scandal. People Magazine did like a good 12 articles on this. It's insane. So do you want to explain this um, incident? Uh, you can take that. So basically, um, Josh used to have his subscriptions um, public on his channel. He doesn't have them anymore. But he actually posted his subscriptions on the front page of his YouTube channel, which is a very bold move, dare I say. Very bold. Extremely bold. 3,000 animation channels. Um, and then but there's one that we, we saw. We began fingering through all these channels, looking for any outliers for our Josh subscription uh, graph, which we were illustrating to see how to become more like Josh, how to yeah. share his vision of the world, and we found some shocking discovery. That Josh was, in fact, subscribed to the Pokemon ASMR YouTube channel. Scary, scary discovery. We were shocked to our cores to read this. When questioned, Josh once again did not reply for some reason. The uh, well, well, bewildering reason. Everything Josh says is a deeper, deeper meaning. So there's still definitely something more there that I feel like needs to be investigated by a PPI or something. They're all very good. Like I remember I once was looking through one and they were like, I was like, wow, Nintendo, you guys don't even draw Sonic like this. Like, there was ash. Like, I could see sweat, blood, and tears on that paper between the lines. And, wow. Josh, who has the handsome complexion of a godly mythical being, runs a YouTube channel called Orange Octopus. He's a YouTube animator with almost a thousand subscribers. All right, guys, smash that like button. Click the sub and check out Orange Octopus. Now. Right now, like right, right now. now. We are already now. on our way to your house because we can tell you're not clicking the link. Yeah, or no, watch for the end of it. No.